All right, so now let's uh, finally jump right in and look at the dot product. So, so far we've added two vectors and multiplied a vector by a scalar, and that's in the earlier videos on the uh, on vectors and so on. We just added vectors and we multiplied uh, and we multiplied vectors by a scalar. But then the question arises: Is it possible to multiply two vectors so that so that their product is a useful quantity? And uh, one such product is the dot product, whose definition follows. And, in, and another is the cross product, which is discussed in the next section. Or actually, this is from my calculus book, so in uh, a later video. In a later video. All right, so uh, now let's continue further and look at now definition one. So we'll define dot product and we'll show how it is. Uh, we could uh, utilize it to be a, basically a useful concept, a, a useful quantity. So if the vector a, and remember we bold them if, uh, if it's a vector, has components a1, so you write these uh, triangle brackets for indicating it's a vector. So a1, a2, a3, and uh, this b vector has components b1, b2, b3. Then the dot product of a and b vectors is the number a dot b, so you write, we have this dot there given by, yeah, given by, and uh, we'll write this over here, so it's a dot b, and remember the notation, uh, you could also write a vector with an arrow on top, and I'll write it with arrows on top when I'm uh, writing with my pen, just because it's hard to write with the uh, bold set up here, because they all look the same. Uh, this one here, so that's bold, it's easier to bold when you type, and not so easy when you're type, I mean when you're writing. So this is the definition, this one is we're gonna have the components, multiply the a1 by b1, then a2 by b2, then a3 by uh, b3 and then add all of them up and we're going to get this. So we're going to get a1, b1, This is the, again this is the definition and then we're going to show that this is an actual useful quantity and this is going to be a3, b3. So notice what we have, we have uh, two vectors multiplying or dot product uh, together. So the dot product of two vectors is a, just a, a summation of these two, mul of these three multiplications. In other words, these are, this is just a real number or a scalar. All right, so thus, to find the dot product of A and B, we multiply the corresponding components, as we did over here, and then we add them all together. And again, as stated earlier, the result is not a vector. It is a real number that is a scalar. For this reason, the dot product is sometimes called the scalar product or inner product. And although definition one here, so that's definition one, uh, is for three-dimensional vectors. The dot product of two-dimensional vectors is defined in a similar fashion. So if you have two uh, two-dimensional vectors, so a1, uh, here's the components of them. Let's call this a1, and then this is a2. Dot product of uh, the second vector b1, b2 so this is a two-dimensional one. This just becomes well a1, b1 plus a2. B2, so just uh, the com components and so on. You can do this for any number of dimensions, I believe. All right, so now let's take a look at an example. So this is example one, and this just has uh, three different uh, dot products who, uh, for us to uh, exercise. So we have this uh, two, this vector, the two-dimensional vector two four uh, dot product three times and a three and then a negative one. And the other one is uh, these ones over here. And uh, yeah, let's just go over each one. Let's go over the first one here, which is 2, 4. All right, so, so let's look at the solution. Let's go over it. So 2, 4, and then dot product, 3, negative 1, these two vectors. So this equals to, well, 2 times 3 plus, uh, and then the next one's going to be 4 times negative 1. And this equals 2. Uh, well, it's just me six, and then six minus four. This equals to two. All right. Now the next one here. Let's write that down. That is going to be uh, negative seven. I'm negative one seven four dot product with the three. These are three dimensional vectors. Six two negative one two like that. All right. And then this is going to equal two. Yeah, it's going to equal two. Well, now we have a three-dimensional dot product, so we multiply this negative one times six. So it's going to be negative one. I'll put this in um, bracket. Negative one times six plus seven times two, seven, two, and then four, and then uh, negative one half. 
it's gonna be times two, and then plus four, negative one half. Let's add all these together. So this equals two, uh, let's put it here actually, make it in line, equals two, negative six plus 14. And then this cancels, uh, well, the two, or, uh, or yeah, that's gonna be two, this cancels. Uh, this can be, well, uh, yeah, four, uh, four divided by two is two, and then uh, negative one, so negative two, like that. So that's gonna be negative eight, or you could just look at this uh, together. What are these together? Uh, negative six plus 14, or 14 minus six is eight. Eight minus two is equal to six, like that. All right, that's pretty epic. So now let's take a look at uh, the next one. This one is using this uh, the standard basis vector form. And remember, uh, recall from earlier video. Yeah, from the earlier video, these ones, uh, each one of these is, for example, this one here is just a one, zero, zero uh, vector. This, uh, the J one is, uh, is zero, then you put a one in like that. And then similar for this one is be the K, this would be zero, et cetera. So it's uh, each components of those, so, et cetera. What this essentially means is this is the same as writing uh, one, two, negative three in this components, uh, but you're writing it in a standard basis vector setup. And uh, notice the bracket change because so, we're writing it in these vectors setup. So what this equals to, well, let's just write this down. So we have the vector there, uh, the I vector plus two, times j vector minus 3k vector uh, this times by 2j minus uh, k vector this equals 2 so now this is the interesting part here because this one skipped the i one and that's because uh, it's assumed that the i is uh, the zero times by i. So in other words, uh, when we do the dot product of these two, this i, this is going to be one times by, well, there's a, the zero is gone there. So we'll have a one times by zero. And the next one's going to be plus two times by two. There's, there's the j's match up. Two times two. And the next one here, negative three times by, yeah, this one is just a negative one there. So we have a negative one like that. So uh, this equals two, well, this is gonna be zero, plus the next one's gonna be four, two times two is four, then the next one's gonna be two negatives becomes positive, plus three, so in other words, this equals to seven. So there's the dot products for all three of these. So uh, all these uh, these uh, vector multiplication or dot products, and then we get uh, scalar uh, numbers, just real numbers.